let's talk about Jungle Comics from Antarctic Press, um, number 26. Uh, here are the credits. Uh, it's three different stories. Focuses. So yeah, some continue from the previous issue. Uh, it's Valkyria. Um, basically, it's like two stories of Valkyria. Um, uh, Zan of the Jungle, which is a continuing uh, thread from the previous uh, issue. Um, and uh, Kila, it's K-Y-L-A, um, or Kyla, uh, the goddess who walks the earth. So the first one is uh, Valkyria. And basically, it's a it's a, a fit woman in a bikini uh, who encounters a, a a dude that just you know wants to play and, and laugh, and um, something terrible happens to him. Uh, there's some great art here. So this is all translated, I think, from Italian comics, and the translations are all from Steve Ross. Um, and then there's another story that starts up after that where uh, um, Valkyria um, encounters people who are worshipping like a, like a volcano and sacrificing a woman to it, and then she beats them up and, and all that stuff. So that's that. Uh, Zan of the Jungle continues the story from previous where there's a um, guy who's basically Tarzan um, is trapped in some sort of compound and he escapes. And a lot of what he sees is normal to us, but, like, he's stunned by it. Um, and he fights dudes and everything. Meanwhile, his uh, animal companions are trying to um, find him and everything. And he escapes into the jungle. And last but not least is uh, Kyla, uh, the goddess who walks the earth. Um, so she uh, exists in a, in a world that's, like, half... Um, futuristic and, and, and half like, you know, um, prehistoric with these like weird uh, dinosaurish uh, monsters. They're not quite dinosaurs because it's documented that they had weird suckling mouths like this. Um, so uh, she gets sort of like intercepted by an agent uh, from that time in a big futuristic car and uh, escorts her to this awesome looking playset thing um and uh and then there's these dudes that can apparently like mutate and stuff and they're they're harvesting um people so that's that's kind of cool and i'm sure that's going to continue on into the next issue uh so yeah so hot looking people in like scantily clad garb um fighting folks and monsters and stuff like that in jungle settings. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I love all that stuff. It's cool. Um, and you get three stories. Uh, in this case, I feel like it's four stories in one. Um, cause there's that, uh, there's that, uh, Valkyria, um, thing where it's like two different stories. Um, pretty cool stuff. This is, this was $5.00. Um, so maybe about six, between six and seven dollars in Canada. Um, I think it's still worth it. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I ordered this, um, from my comic shop and I think I'm the, the only one issue came from me. So I don't know how many people are buying this, but, um, but if you like this kind of thing and it, it's, a, it's a, a nice jaunt away from Marvel and DC, um, I recommend it. Um, you'll probably get hooked on the stories as they continue on. Uh, I think this is bi-monthly. I'm not sure. Um, I don't see them come out every month. Uh, but I, I recommend it if you like that kind of stuff. If you liked what you, you saw from this, I recommend it. If, if you don't like what you saw from this, you're offended by some of it, then I don't recommend it. Um, but for the most part, I love it. So until next time, take care.